Welcome. I'd like to welcome you all to the Institute of Soul Studies for Behavior and Human Health here in Santa Monica, California. My name is Scott and I'm the director. And I'm just going to give you a, a short summary of the model that we currently use here to um, predict not only uh, perfect times for health, but also to predict when the danger periods occur. Um, quite simply, the sun goes through its own solar cycles. We're all aware of a solar cycle which lasts approximately 11 years, but um, the shorter cycles around uh, in between those 11 year periods. Um, they're known as a solar flare cycle, which lasts on average about 11 days. The cycle goes from the beginning of the flare to the peak of the flare, and then down to the end of the solar flare. And during this period, all different spectrums of energy are occurring. Um, they're coming from the sun and they're affecting the earth and its uh, perimeter. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do an illustration of the model that's currently being used. Quite simply, uh, we start at the beginning of the solar flare, right here. And then the energy of the solar flare starts to increase. Now this is out of the solar flux that is increasing and also the uh, sunspot count is increasing and also the infrared values are all increasing. As it reaches a certain point, we hit what's called a condition blue. A condition blue is good for uh, mind power, um, it's good for using consciousness expansion, um, it's good for exercising the mind because there's a lot of mental energy that occurs at this point. Now as we continue going further up, we reach the peak. Now this is what's called a condition red. And this is the peak of the solar flare. Condition reds are very, very interesting because at this peak we have extremely high energies of um, power coming from the sun. Um, there's loss of sunspots, the infrared uh, value is maximized. Um, we also have huge amounts of um, solar flux occurring. And um, this is a very, very uh, dangerous point. This is when the body is vulnerable to mood swings, um, aches and pains, etc. Now, as we come down through here, the sunspots will start to drop. And right as the sunspots are dropping during this period, right here, this is another condition red period. It's actually sometimes even worse than this part. This condition red causes, um, from our experience in research, um, allergies, immune system disorders, and very, very destructive effects on the body. Now, if we start to come down from this condition, we come down to what's called a condition green. Condition greens are very, very good because with a condition green, um, it's a perfect time to do Tai Chi exercises, uh, to submit the body to exercise, um, it's a good time to take anti-aging herbs, um, things that are beneficial to the body and cause anti-aging compounds to occur, and the compounds with anti-aging effects is a very, very good time around this condition green. Now during some solar flares, usually the more powerful solar flares, we have what's called a condition yellow. And the condition yellow occurs right about here, before the condition green. Condition yellows are very, very unique. This is a time when we believe the pituitary gland is producing larger amounts than normal of human growth hormone. This is a time when if you do um, what's called, uh, what's, we call that pole balancing exercise, and then perform a certain amount of physical exercise, the body is so renewed and so refreshed, it feels like it's flowing up to three days later. The energy that occurs during this condition yellow, which is during high powerful solar flares, the body feels so renewed, it just feels like it's floating on air. That's how powerful these condition yellows are. But they only occur during very powerful solar flares, and they're very, very, it takes a lot of technique to find when they're occurring. Anyway, it's just a brief model of how we um, use this model to drive the energy so to interpret the different spectrums of the sun. When we know when these spectrums occur, we know the exact time to cause healing in the body and to watch out for destructive effects on the body. 
So it's a very, very good model to work from. It took uh, approximately three years to figure out this model and get the spectrum of energies uh, figured out. And anyway, I'd like to welcome you all to the uh, site. Um, take a look around. There's a lot of interesting uh, articles on there. The site is uh, currently undergoing uh, res uh, renovations to make it more streamlined, more simple, more easier to access information. And uh, once again, I'd like to thank you for watching. And uh, my name is Scott. I'm the director for the Institute for Solar Studies on Behavior and Human Health here in beautiful Santa Monica, California. And I wish you all a great week ahead and a wonderful day. Thank you.